Now, the taxi industry in KwaZulu-Natal is on high alert after a spate of murders across the province. In the latest incident, a taxi owner was gunned down while in his vehicle in Verulam near Durban. Let's get to the latest on the story now. Karinda Jagmahan is our reporter tracking that story for us. Karinda, give us some background uh, to taxi violence, particularly in KZN. Absolutely. Taxi violence has been unfolding for years in KwaZulu Natal, but especially over the past few months, we've been seeing a uh, somewhat upscale or a, a, a resurgence in the number of taxi owners that are coming under attack. Just yesterday, two taxi owners were murdered uh, on two separate occasions. Yesterday, about the afternoon, a taxi bus was killed in Peter Maritzburg. He was gunned down uh, near the taxi rank where his vehicles were operating from. And then yesterday afternoon, another taxi owner was killed in Verulam, a suburb just north of Durban. He was killed in his vehicle uh, in a very busy, it was parked in a very busy shopping center. A number of armed unknown gunmen uh, attacked him uh, by shooting bullets at his vehicle and he was declared dead on the scene. It's this similar modus operandi that we have been seeing uh, playing out over the past few months where the murders are happening in somewhat broad daylight. Just last month, another taxi owner was killed in Umschlanga, a similar situation. He was sitting in his vehicle outside uh, his, his apartment in Umschlanga when he was gunned down by unknown men. So this is the situation here. At at this point, we've seen Santaco uh, in KwaZulu Natal say that they're calling for peace and for conflicts to be resolved. But there's no clear motive, Michelle, about why uh, so many incidents of this kind are happening. Uh, there are discussions on the ground that this could be uh, uh, leading up to conflicts over routes or really conflicts over ownership of the vehicles itself and how they operate at the local taxi rank. So it is a major cause for concern, but we haven't seen any um, information as such being brought forward by the Equizilla Natal Department of Transport. They haven't really released a statement as such to uh, throw caution to the wind about what's happening in the taxi industry as we see more and more of these murders occurring almost on a daily basis now, Michelle. Another major issue we have seen, though, as well, in the north coast of KZN is taxi operators that are allegedly stopping private vehicles from transporting their passengers. So, of course, what we're seeing is a major upset in this industry, and we will be speaking to Santaco later today to find out their views on this. Yeah, and I suppose the question for Santaco, Corinda, is, you know, when they say they are on high alert, just exactly what does that mean? But thanks very much indeed for that update, and of course, taxi violence, not only in KZN, certainly an issue in other provinces as well.